Mississippi Burning is a fictionalized version of a true life account of three missing civil rights activists in 1964 Mississippi. But the movie goes far deeper than that, adding intertwining layers which include a couple engrossing relationships between the most unlikeliest of people while also serving as a reminder of one of America's darkest times of social conscience and actions. Hey everyone, this is Jan Mann, and this is a look back at 1988's Mississippi Burning. The title Mississippi Burning refers to the code name the FBI used during its investigation into the real life murders of three civil rights workers in Mississippi in 1964. The events of this movie therefore largely play out through the perspective of two particular FBI agents. One is Alan Ward, played by Willem Dafoe, a good-hearted yet overly idealistic young man who aims to right wrongs no matter what it takes, even if it's unknowingly coming from a very inexperienced place and position. While the older agent working under him, Rupert Anderson, played by Gene Hackman, grew up in and became a sheriff of a small Mississippi town and hence knows the area well and knows how to talk to and handle its people, culture, and customs. But given Ward's insistence to be in charge and his lack of knowledge and experience in the area and how to best handle the situation, Anderson naturally becomes his foil. This duality of Ward's stubborn idealism and Anderson's more practical brunt ways is very compelling. Hackman's and Defoe's abilities to portray the often unsaid, subtle, or outright physical tug of war between ideals and wills are as believable, if not masterful performances as any in movie history. Hackman's performance in particular extends itself to his relationship with the likewise strong performance of Frances McDormand, who plays Mrs. Pell, a lonely, isolated, neglected, and abused wife and beautician. The empathy she emits and the budding affection between her and Anderson feel just right, natural. After her abusive husband attacks her, and Anderson uses that as a springboard to bring him and his racist murdering cohorts down, it feels climactic and an earned catharsis for Anderson, Mrs. Pell, the suffering African Americans, as well as Ward and the audience. It's a near-perfect build-up and execution wrought with genuine emotion and drama. However, what this film does that may even be more effective in terms of blunt realism is the depiction of racism and the sheer unabashed hatred it fuels. The actors who portray the murdering members of the Klan in this movie bring this ugly, ignorant side out scarily well. And it's not just one or two performances or one or two scenes. It permeates throughout the movie, like the odiousness of it is damn near tangible. There's nothing that's glossed over, nor is any of it or the movie's themes preachy either. It just is. And the film's Academy Award winning cinematography further ensconces the grainy rawness of it all. It harkens back to a time in which a certain large groupthink literally ran and dominated the country, particularly the South, and what the poor and physically and mentally oppressed way of life was like for African Americans as a result. For viewers in 1988, and for viewers today, Mississippi Burning is a strong, stirringly emotional, tense, gripping, and important movie. One that serves as a stark reminder of a very real history of hatred and pain. <laughs>